Uh, thank you, Speaker. My question is to the Minister of Labour. Yesterday, I introduced a private member's bill, the Greater Protection for Interns and Vulnerable Workers Act, that was first introduced by my former colleague, Jonas Shine. I want to make it clear that this bill goes significantly beyond the rather weak measures included in your Bill 18. Uh, for example, one provision of my bill requires that employers notify the Minister of Labour when they bring in interns and clearly spell out expectations such as job description and hours of work. Speaker, there is no reason for the continued exploitation of unpaid interns in this province. So I ask the Minister, will this government be supporting my bill? Thank you, Speaker. It's a pleasure to rise on this important issue, and I thank the member for her question. And let me be very, very, very clear right from the start. It doesn't matter what your job title is. It doesn't matter what your position is. If you perform work for somebody in the province of Ontario, you're covered by the Employment That's Standards right. Act, and you deserve to be paid. Sure. There's a very narrow exemption for those people that are enrolled in educational institutions, co-op students, or the self-employed, or trainees. But certainly, if you're performing work for somebody in this province, you deserve to be paid. We have proactive enforcement on this issue. We've been out to a number of uh, employers. We've, be, we've, talking, we've talked to the post-secondary institutions. And we're making sure that people in the province of Ontario understand that we're very, very serious about this issue, that we're going to continue the inspections, and that we're going to ensure, as I said from the start, you work in Ontario, you get paid Thank in you. Ontario. Thank you, Speaker. Supplementary. Thank you, Speaker. Uh, in response to the exemptions, I wanted to point out that another measure in my bill would bring co-op students, interns, and other trainees who are currently exempted under the Employment Standards Act so that they would be entitled to some basic workplace protections. Too many workers are exempted from the Employment Standards Act, and this provision takes a small step to close those loopholes. My bill is supported by students and labour law experts. So I ask again, will this government support my bill and end the exploitation of unpaid interns in Ontario? 